Hello everyone and welcome to the Austrian Compound Books episode 6. Today I'd like to show you a combination of some moves that I have already explained on my YouTube channel, but they were all in separate videos and some of them are even pretty hard to find. So I decided to make a new video where I put everything together. So first of all, let's have a look at these moves, shall we? Well, as for the legs, this move is pretty simple because I'm just doing the Vico Neo style one leg shuffle that you saw, I mean this one. And how do you do it? Well, let's say you want to go to the left first. And so you lift the right foot and meanwhile the left foot does this and one. So it looks like this and one. And then to go right you do the opposite movement, so you lift the, your left foot, meanwhile the right foot does this movement. And so you do, and two. And you just loop this movement, so, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. If you want to see it from the back, let me show you. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. And you can choose if you want to swing your legs more to the left and to the right, so like this, and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight, or keep them more in place, so and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. I think they both look fine. So let's move on with the arms, and here I'm doing some various movements, so let's start with the first one, which is this one. One and two and three and four. So how do you do it? Well, you start in this position with your right arm on top. Then you move them at an angle or less like this. Okay. And here you're ready to start. So you put your right arm under your left arm like this. One. You bring them back to this position and two and three and so on okay so you start in this position just to get used to the movement put your arms like this then you do one and two and three and and here instead of doing four with your left arm up there you do four with both your arms down because then we want to do this one, okay? Now, the second move that you saw is what I decided to call Svenotten's Vortex because I took it from Svenotten and as you will see, it is a bit more tricky because, first of all, you have to lean your back slightly otherwise you don't have enough space to work with your hands and once you do it, you put your hands like this with this part of your thumb touching this part of your thumb so like this. And then you move both of your arms, you turn both of your arms clockwise until you can. And here comes the tricky part, because as you may have noticed, once you do this, you can't turn your hands anymore, and if you do the opposite movement, it doesn't look right. So what's the trick? Well, while you do this movement, you have to sneak in another movement, which is this one, with your right hand. Of course you don't have to do it after you do this movement, but you have to hide it as much as you can, like this. You see that if I do it very quickly, it looks smooth. If you manage to do this, you're almost done, because now you can turn your hands anti-clockwise, and guess what? You end up in the previous position. So you can do it again, and one, and two, and three, and four. And of course this takes a bit of practice, but after some time you will be able to do it smoothly, like this. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Then we have a third move, which is pretty basic, because it is just 
and one and two and three and four. And to do it, you just have to think about drawing a DNA. And keep in mind that the tips of your hands need to point at each other every time, like this. And that's basically it. So for in this position, you do and one and two and three and four. And when you get to the four, make sure that you end up in this position because then we have our fourth movement. Now, fortunately, the fourth move is pretty easy to explain because, believe it or not, it is exactly the same as the second one. So basically, you take this movement and you flip it and you have to do it with your hands above your head, like this. Now, this can be a bit more difficult because well, while you do this, you can see your hands, but while you do this, you can't. But with the help of a mirror, you should be able to do it nonetheless. Finally, if we put our arms back with our legs, it should look more or less like this. So, and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Okay, so I'd say that we're done for today. I really hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next episode.